This tutorial shows how to create a custom heading style in Microsoft Word. Hello, my name is Erin. In my previous tutorial titled How to Create and Customize Headings in Microsoft Word, we covered the basics of using headings in Word, including customizing Word's nine built-in heading levels. Today we're going to look at how to create a new custom heading style that will exist separately from the built-in headings. In fact, you can use custom heading styles and the built-in heading styles in the same document. In addition, we'll also look at how to save a custom heading style for future use and how to delete a custom heading style. Plus, the bonus section at the end shows how to delete a custom style that won't go away, because sometimes they're stubborn. I'll be using Word for Microsoft 365. These steps also apply to Word 2019, Word 2016, and Word 2013. We'll cover the steps for Word for Mac in a separate tutorial, because those steps are different than those shown here. To begin creating a custom heading style, select the Home tab in the ribbon. Then select the heading level you'd like to create in the Style Gallery. This step is very important because your new heading won't be included in your Table of Contents or Outline without an assigned level. Also remember that you're creating a new heading level style, but you won't be replacing the existing built-in heading level style. One final tip before we move on is that additional heading levels will appear in the gallery after you use lower levels in your document. For example, heading level 4 will appear after you use level 3. Once you've selected your level, type a word or phrase, which can be a real heading or just sample text. The new text will appear with the built-in style of the heading level that you just chose. Next, select the text and use the options in the Font and Paragraph group to format it with the Font, Font Size, Font Color, Emphasis, which is Boldness, Italics, and Underlining, or Alignment that you want to include in your new heading style. Then right-click the text and select Styles from the mini toolbar, followed by Create a Style from the Styles menu. You can now give your style a name in the Create New Style from Formatting dialog box. When you're finished, select the OK button. Your new heading style should appear in the Style Gallery and you can apply it to any text in your document. Now we're going to look at how to add your new style to Word's normal template so it will be available for future use. To begin, right-click the style in the Style Gallery, and then select Modify from the shortcut menu. Next, select New Documents Based on This Template in the Modify Style dialog box, followed by the OK button. Your new heading style should now appear when you open a new document. However, you may have to open the Style Gallery or perform another function in the ribbon before the style appears for the first time. The following steps show how to delete a custom heading style. However, sometimes this process doesn't work. If your custom heading style makes an unwanted reappearance, please follow the steps in the bonus section, which we'll walk through in just a moment. To begin the normal deletion process, right-click the heading style in the Style Gallery, and then select Remove from Style Gallery in the shortcut menu. Your custom heading style is stored in the normal template file in Windows. If it won't delete or keeps reappearing after using the method in the previous section, you can delete the existing normal template file. 
Word would then create a new normal template file the next time you open the software. Please be aware that deleting the normal template file will delete all existing custom themes, changes to your default font, or other custom styles. Also note that the location of my normal file will be correct for most Windows users. However, there is a chance that your file will be located elsewhere. To begin, save any open documents and close Word. Then press the Windows key plus E on your keyboard to open the File Explorer. Alternatively, you can search for File Explorer in the search box in the taskbar. Next, select the Windows C drive in the File Explorer. In the C drive, select the Users folder. Then select your Username folder. For example, my username is Aaron. Now, select the View tab and then select the Hidden Items options if it's not already selected. This will reveal folders that were previously hidden. Next, select the App Data folder, followed by the Roaming folder, and the Microsoft folder. Finally, select the Templates folder. Within the Templates folder, select the normal.m file and then select the Delete key on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can right-click the file and select Delete from the shortcut menu. When you're finished, select the X to close the File Explorer. When you reopen Word, your custom heading style should no longer appear in the Style Gallery and all original defaults should be restored. I have created many other videos about Microsoft Word, including how to change the default font in Microsoft Word and how to create custom bullets in Microsoft Word. Please see the complete list in the playlist titled How to Use Microsoft Word, which is linked in the description box below. The companion blog post for this video showing all the steps we just performed appears on ErinWriteWriting.com, which is also linked below. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic about Microsoft Word or Adobe Acrobat that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future tutorials and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.